Dog Detective is an indie game mystery game that has wacky funny animals. Back with another milk. Help! Help! Bye. It uses its characters to develop a world that sucks you into its atmosphere. You get a call one day about a mysterious ghost haunting the island. Since you are the only detective for the job, you decide to check it out. Once you are there, however, you realize that all these scientists have no idea what they're doing. So it's up to you to figure out the mystery. The game draws clear inspiration from the noir genre. In fact, it was inspired by games like LA Noir and other mystery movies. Although it clearly isn't a depressing take on capitalism. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> Frog Detective pushes the boundaries of its genre, bear with me on this. The game subverts its own source material by focusing on the characters rather than the mystery. At no point in the game do the animals actually help you solve the mystery. They don't have any information or clues that could lead you to a conclusion about the ghost. Instead, Frog Detective likes to use comedy and character development to get you invested in the world. <laughs> This wasn't just my opinion Look either, this, this was the game design philosophy. Um, so as an example for, from Frog Detective, I took a genre that has a lot of existing expectations. So detective games often have moody, noir tones, like grisly bodies and chase sequences and like cigarettes and all that. Um, and not all of that appeals to me personally, personally as a developer. And I wasn't really seeing the genre subverted in any of the games that I was playing in the way that I would. It contrasts it. other noir noir media that have focus on plot. The characters are usually only there to provide clues for the main character. You aren't supposed to play Frog Detective like a detective game. You are there for the characters and not the plot. I feel like that's such a problem with story-based games now. They don't focus on the characters, people are just playing them to finish them without any interest in the characters or the time they spent with them. To be honest, Frog Detective plays more like a picture book rather than an actual interactive game. Which you may ask then, what is the point of even playing the game? To that, I would say that it's about being immersed in the world. Why we play video games in the first place is to escape reality. Pulsey mommy, quick, I need help. Uh, yep, yep. On my way, away, away, away. Dash, run the way. Dash, run the way. Come, 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 come. Come on, guys, we go. or expectations of a video game should be subverted. This is why I like Frog Detective. I keep thinking about it even months after playing it. It's about getting your experience with the characters. That's why the ending is a dance competition. You're deciding which character you connected with the most. For me, it's the little koala guy. I love him so much. <laughs> Frog Detective's art style and characters seem very childish at first glance, which may be true, but it's also to contrast the dull and flat noir aesthetic. The comedy can be a bit too quirky, though I really enjoyed it while playing. It isn't a dark or hateful type of comedy. Unlike in other noir games who are making fun of their characters, the noir genre does this a lot by making fun of its characters like their stereotypes, and that's the whole point of the comedy. Frog Detective is a pretty short game, but it left a lasting impact on me. It changed the way I look at stories and characters. It reminded me that not every game has to be a 60 hour story based adventure where you kill the evil god or something. God, I hate those games! Oh my- okay, don't get me started. This is why Frog Detective works. Also, there are funny animals, that's pretty quirky. <laughs>